Hello, welcome to part um, five of this first look and playthrough of The Long Dark. Um, now, I'm having to redo the audio because the computer decided I didn't need a microphone. <laughs> but other than that, it's okay. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about on the video, but um, I'll come up with something. So let's get on with it anyway. Um, now, again, I think I've been asleep. And so it's early morning. And I can't see anything. And I'm in the forest lookout hut. And five hours of darkness left. What am I going to do? Yeah. Can drink water for five hours. Now what? Kind of reluctant to go outside and start exploring in this sort of pitch black. Um, Good idea. I'll use up another hour and I'll learn how, how to cook. Maybe I should go outside and just see what it's like anyway. Um, I don't really want to light a flare indoors. Um, Bar, which apparently is the name for it in Canada. Over here we call them crowbars. Don't know why. No. Oh, there is some light out there. If I can get outside, let's have a look. Oof, I've opened the door, but I can't, can't get out. What's going on? Where am I? Where's the door? Where's the bed? There's the door. Open. Sesame. Oh, it's opening in my face. Right. Okay. Alright. Let's close it again to keep the temperature up inside. Well, I can see a bit. Nice night sky. I wonder if there's real constellations in it or if it's just artistic. can kind of at least see a bit like you would under starlight actually um, once your eyes have adapted but it's obviously not detailed enough if you don't know the place to work out what's what or where I can go next
Well, I'll try and look around. Maybe there's something. I don't know. Just try not to fall down the stairs. Oh, it's a very artistic moon. I think life must be a computer simulation because <coughs> that moon is uh, artistic. I'm wondering maybe I should go back inside. Minus 25 out here. On this side of the, the hut I can see almost nothing. Well, there's a door there, there's a door, right. Go. No. I can't get through the door. <laughs> In real life of course, that would never happen. If you could get to the door and open it, you would certainly be able to walk through it. But this is one of the stupid things about this sort of game, actually. It's even darker out here than it was before. Um, have I got through? I'm still outside. Still can't see anything. Can't see anything on the hut anyway, and it's. Hmm. I could die of the freezing cold out here whilst <laughs> trying to find the door, which is open about two inches away to the left or something. Even a person who is completely blind would be able to find the door in real life. I'm not quite sure what those symbols mean down in the lower left. I guess it's wind chill from the curly one. I'm not quite sure about the shield. Maybe I should read some instructions somewhere. I don't know. I can probably look it up online. Inside. Good grief. Now I can't see anything at all. Not even uh, the handrails or anything. First aid kit, where is everything? <laughs> Just moving around and hoping not to bash myself. There's the bed. Maybe I should go to sleep for a bit, if I can now. Go on then. Whoosh. Where am I? Okay. I'm quite close to the. St Maybe I can light a fire. I don't know whether I should. Fifty-five percent chance of success. At least if I start a fire I'll be able to see in the room a bit. Well, that didn't work. Ah. 
I'll have no tinder left. Hmm. Brilliant. So, no tinder, and I'm getting thirsty again. <clears throat> can kill a bit of time by drinking something, I suppose, but... Uh, It's not most not not so great. There's the bed. Can I sleep for a bit? Go. Two hours till daylight. <coughs> Phew. And game saved. Oh, I've woke it up and it's a bit a bit light. Okay. Oh, I'm a bit thirsty. Don't drop it, drink it. There we go. Now <clears throat> drop it or no, I can't. Didn't have the option of lighting the fire with it, did I? Um, is there anything I need to take? No, uh, I don't think so. Let's go. Shut the door, because I'm that kind of a guy. Oh, super fog. Hmm. I was hoping to have a look around and see, you know, like where to go. Brilliant. I don't have a clue now. So I'm going to go out into this fog. Something you probably should never do in real life, I think. I'm going to go out into this fog and I'll probably get lost because I can't tell much. But at the bottom of the hill uh, there was a, a logging camp, wasn't there? So at least I've got some sort of way of orienting myself a bit with that, I suppose. I'm not quite sure actually how to get out of here though. Um, well, let's have a look over here. Maybe. This isn't the way I came in, but it might be worth a peek over the edge. Mm. Let me see. I can't see anything down, down there except a couple of rocks, I don't know. This looks more like it. Yeah. Where is it? Yeah, here we are. Right, okay. Ooh. Yeah. Scrub a brush. Go on then. What's that? Bit of rock, I suppose. Okay, I'm, I didn't injure myself, that's something. It's F for first aid. It tells you if you've got anything wrong with you. Other than being mad. <clears throat> this is 
pity about the fog. I suppose the sensible thing to have done would have been to wait up in the uh, hut uh, until the fog clears, but this is a game. I can take a risk. Oh, some crows. Can't see what's down there if that's where the logging camp is or what. See, surviving here is difficult because humans are tropical creatures. We are not made for this kind of environment. Our Neanderthal cousins would have managed it, I guess, until we turned up and uh, messed it all up for them, presumably. Or messed things up in general for them. But hey, we got about 4% Neanderthal in our genes, so we didn't um, mess things up 100%. <laughs> oh, here's the camp. Right. Or at least, no, it's not the camp. It is places chopped up. So I can kind of use this as a navigation reference for the moment. that thing. Oh, okay. A trunk or something. But where to go? Are those huts around? Or maybe I'll just... I should probably just follow that road. It might lead me... If not to civilization, it should lead me to something. But let's have a bit, a bit of a look around here first. Just in case there's. There are. I do come, come across those huts. And in the last episode, I found some huts and then lost them, basically. Um, and they're somewhere around here. <laughs> but it's always been foggy and horrible when I've been here, so I don't know. Can't find them again. Um, it was only a couple of huts, but I didn't. I don't. I, th I think I didn't explore them. Um, I can't remember. But anyway, there were huts. Let's just have a sort of general look around the area, and then I don't know what those are. Just see if there's uh, anything useful. Of course, wandering around in the fog is not really super sensible. I used to live near Dartmoor, the moors in Devon, which is which are is a it's a sort of local wilderness. Um, I don't know, a hundred square miles or so of of uh, barren hills. There were volcanoes maybe three hundred million years ago, but now it's. Um, They've worn down, eroded, and they're barren hills, and they're high up, and it gets like this in the winter. Um, and the general instruction is, if the fog closes in, do not move from where you are. <laughs> Just stay still, unless you're on a road. Um, the fog can get really thick, especially at night, um, and it's easy to step into some sort of pothole or something and, and injure yourself. And in fact, in some parts of the moor, there are actual deep holes in the ground, which are exhaust holes from underground railway tunnels, which were built in the, like the Victorian era or something. Uh, there was mining going on, 
So it is even possible to step into one of those and fall down into the mine and you would never be found again, basically, because they're all disused now. Uh, so it's... Uh, you probably don't have that issue here, but getting lost is, is certainly uh, what I'm doing, I think. It's not so terrible to be lost, but you have to have the means to survive while you're lost. I don't know where I'm going here, really. Just navigate alongside the rocks and, and hope for the best. This was supposed to be just a little look around, though. over this ridge. I can't get up there. Right. Oh, I can get on here. Okay. And more rocks and ridges and stuff. I think it might be really dangerous. Uh, <coughs> to jump off there and break my leg or something. <coughs> Better go back, basically. Oh, I can go up here now. Okay. Another rock. Okay. Can't go up there. Hmm. Uh, this is this is dangerous. <laughs> right, let's go back then. I'm not getting anywhere here. Oh, I didn't injure myself. Okay. Basically, let's get down the hill again. Should be a bit easier than going up, but it's getting cold. And I have no tinder for starting a fire. I've got to find shelter. So, back to the logging area, and um, I'll have to explore it better when uh, when the weather is better. <coughs> I think I'll follow the road, see where it goes. <coughs> I'm lost now. I think this is the general direction for home, roughly speaking. I don't know. Maybe over this hill, I don't know. It's where I've just come down, isn't it? But I am numb with cold <coughs> and with no tinder. Can I light it? Nope, no tinder. Hmm. Okay. Impossible. Got to find shelter, basically. I've already looked in there. If this was Star Wars, I could shoot that deer and shelter in its skin until I froze to death anyway.
<clears throat> if I don't find a hut or something soon, I will be dead. <clears throat> this will be game over. So I can't even use this as Tinder, can I? Pick it up. No. Nothing I can do with it. I can't break it up. I probably need a workbench or something <laughs> to tear a book up. <laughs> hmm. Nothing. There's no. Where are these huts? <clears throat> mm. What happens when I get down to zero on the temperature scale? Do I just die? I don't have much time. I'm running, trying to uh, warm myself up. I don't know if it actually works in the game. Or even in real life, actually. I mean, you can warm yourself up with muscle action, can't you, in real life? Shivering, for example. Jogging. But if you're out of energy, I don't know. Your liver still has to produce sugar to give you the fuel to do these things. Well, I'm, I'm well fed. But that has not warmed me up at all, as far as I can tell. Because I'm not fit enough to run in thick snow for more than a... Well, 20 metres or so, by the looks of it. Where am I? Is there anything around here? At risk for hypothermia. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> Or English at risk of hypothermia. Goddamn freezing. I'm now officially freezing. Surely there's something around here with all these huts and with the road around. There must be something. Not huts. With all these road signs and stuff. <clears throat> Another road sign you see. Surely there's a hut or something. Oh, what's this? This is a railway line. Which way? Which way? That looks kind of uphill. That looks vaguely downhill. I'm going to go this way. It's arbitrary. Nothing. Uh, is it the right way? Maybe my sense of direction is helping me slightly. I, d I don't know. I don't know. I've got quite a good sense of direction in real life. Um, this way felt slightly more welcoming. Is there anything? <laughs> mm. Seventeen hundred and fifty calories. Should I eat it now? Will it make a difference? Will it warm me up? I don't think it will. <coughs> I've got a load of calories already. I'll eat some chocolate, see if it helps a bit. Probably won't. Now in real life if I have a good meal, I feel hot afterwards. but Because um, it speeds up your metabolism, but I, I guess a bar of chocolate is <laughs> not a good meal. Eight, oh, see the bottom? 89%. So that's the hypothermia. I guess I die when I reach zero.
Let's hope this railway line leads to something significant. I suppose this might be the other side of that hill that I that the watchtower is on or something. I'm not really totally sure. What's that? <clears throat> There's something there, isn't there? Something red behind that tree. A rail car. This is... I th think this is that same train wreck that's close to my cabin. So <clears throat> it is, it is the same. It's the same. There should be another car just behind it. Yeah, you've got the, the first aid box on the snow there. Yep. So if I can just struggle home, 84% alive still, I should... Maybe should make it, provided there's no big obstacles in the way. Either that, or I'm just going to die when I reach, I don't know, 70% or something. Who knows? Let's just get there. Come on, come on. Just make this boulder. Is it here that I turn? No, there's more. There's more rock behind it. Come on. There it is. Right. I think I'm going to live. Although I'm seriously drained. If I drop unconscious in the snow, then I will not live. <laughs> Get inside there quickly. Let's get to the bedroom. I've just got to sleep, I think. I can't light a fire. I can't do anything with these things. There's, there's no tinder here. No. Nothing. Let's just sleep for a bit. Save game. And I'm warm now, but I'm still super tired, but not so bad. Have a drink. No shelter. Hmm. Can't make tinder out of any of this stuff. Okay, okay. The heck with it. I'm alive. I'll pick up a load of sticks. And I can... Uh, make a fire next time I'm stuck outside, provided that I can get hold of some tinder, or something that counts as tinder. If I can't, 
Well, I can't cook any food. I can, oh, I can only eat cold food, I suppose. Not ideal. What can I make down here? Actually, um, well, let's have a look. Bear skin bedroll. Hmm. Basically, I can't make any of this stuff at the moment. I can make a snow shelter, though, if I pick up enough cloth. Hmm. I might do that one day. Control to crouch, and I can't get under there. That's <coughs> See, there's something there. Which is gone. Um, how to uncrouch? Control. Okay, again. So you've got five hours of daylight left, <coughs> so I'm going to be out of sync again <coughs> when I go to sleep. I'm tiring myself out too quickly. Of course, freezing nearly to death probably doesn't help. Um, do I need to take this? I've got too much stuff already. Oh look, the amount I can carry is only 24 and a half kilos now, I suppose, because I'm tired. Yeah. Which is better? Decent ski jacket? Ragged windbreaker? Yeah, the ski jacket is way better. Okay, get rid of that. I think, yeah. Goodbye. I really need some proper shoes. take that but I'm really carrying too much
Maybe I should drop a few things. Yeah, I'll drop half again, basically. I mean, maybe I should rest. But I want to leave it until it's actually getting dark so that I can try and synchronise with the actual time zone here. I don't know what time zone I came from, but I wake up way too early. Maybe I'm coming from across the Atlantic, eh? That might be something to do with it. Perhaps I was on some sort of Atlantic flight to Edmonton or something. me like it's getting dark a bit. Slightly recovered. Fifty calories, I suppose. In real life, I find beef jerky a bit yucky, um, too chewy, not all that great a flavour. Pork jerky, well, if, if such a thing ever existed, would be all right, I think. you know, bacon jerky or something. I don't know what the big deal is with beef. Move it over here and give myself a bit of room, see what else is there. Nothing much, basically, as I recall. With that magnifying glass, I ought to be able to start a fire if it's bright and sunny, potentially. I don't know if I would still, I suppose I would still need tinder, I don't know.
wake up early and what the hell, right. And I'll see you in part six. Bye for now.